talked about we talked about Arthur Morgan and stuff, and it didn't. There was no like explanation behind that, so it's too. too yeah. Late. So that's I'm, that's I'm, not a good way to start. Okay, the show. how would you like to start the show? I don't know. Start the show. You you can't you can't how's come in tattoo, here. How's your tattoo going? It's going good. You can't start. Oh, it's starting to scab over. It already did. It's welcome over to pop again. culture unboxing. You, yeah. You, here's the thing. You don't get to say. You don't get to say. <laughs> <laughs> we were doing that off in Nashville. The, uh, uh, uh. You, but you don't. That's get, what I should have got. The you don't get to say, "Okay, start the show," and then not have something to start the show with. So you do it all the time. I was gonna say, yeah, but I'm built <laughs> it's, it's a role reversal. I'm enjoying I'm, I'm, this. I'm built different. <laughs> Your needs. I'm special. constructed alternatively. Okay. <laughs> I'm Zach, fabricated unorthodoxly. How you doing, Zach? I'm, I'm, you know, I'm existing. Who are you again, Zach? Uh, yeah, right, I'm Zach. Zach. Yeah. Who are you again? Uh, uh, how are you doing, Matt? I'm, I'm Matt. There we go. Yeah. I introduced uh, you. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm doing fine. Ryan, how are you? Who I'm, are you? I'm Ryan. Do I'm doing good. Okay, doing cool. Good. Lots to talk well, about. We're, yeah, we're, we have. T- we're at a time crunch. Let's go. We are. Um, we're recording at a weird time. I had great. I had <laughs> ambitions of sleeping in this morning. Then you had to be busy all weekend. Right. I'm I added, also busy all weekend. I so. added something to well, trick or treat, man. But I added It is Halloween Hall weekend. Well Hall weekend. I hope your Halloween was great. I didn't get a costume. You didn't get a costume. No, I don't have a costume. You sure? Because I begged to differ. There's five <laughs> I'm of sorry, them. did you watch this were you there for what I did to that costume? Did you rip it more? No, but I, I still ripped it. I that just it, makes it I funnier. I cut it to pieces with scissors. Oh, uh, well, see, it makes it funnier. Uh, no. So you can be the incredible Carmen San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> just the say incre- that you hulked out. <laughs> pay, pay, pay I your think Joe Paul's grade. using the uh, the Sonic costume, and uh, and Cole's planning to use the the Cusco one. Really? Yeah. Oh, well, that's good. I'm glad you guys there are you using go. it. Getting some mileage out of those. Um, I uh, real quick. So okay. I made a mistake. I added some. Just one. Sh- yeah, just one. I added something to the show notes that I was really excited to talk about, and it was a list of everything that you could stream this weekend. Then I realized, oh, wait, this weekend will be over because <laughs> yeah, it'll well, be Monday. <laughs> so never mind. So, that, well, some, so some. we're going to just talk about Dune, Witcher, and Eternal sucked, right? Light year, too. Oh, and Light Year. So and there you go. Year. Those are our four topics. Okay. Which, so, one, you know. which one do you want to grab from the hat and say which one we're going to talk about sure, first? Sure, pull the hat out. I thought you had the hat. I thought you brought the hat. No. Oh. See, you got it. <laughs> it's a terrible improv. I haven't done my improv class in a while. Let's see. For those Is it a fortune cookie? See. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's... Oh, I can't read that one. Can I have another one? Thank you. <laughs> um, uh, well, looks like we're talking about Witcher 2 because it's, right. it's the last thing we just watched. Okay. Oh, yeah. Witcher, it looks pretty cool. First, yeah. okay. I just want to reiterate what I said about the first season. It was a great example of TV that wasn't phenomenal, but it wasn't terrible either. It was just good TV. Right. So I'm hoping this one keeps on the mark. Probably will be the same. Well, did And, and this is a question because I haven't seen it. Is, of course you have. Did they do a good job at you know mapping from the actual video game to the series or the, are they just using it no as, it's the book it's, the series it's has nothing to do with the video games oh so it's going off the books yes okay okay yeah the, the first so the first series covers the first book or like the anthology before the first book yes so okay. like there's three different times to- like it follows um Geralt uh Yennefer and uh Ciri yeah but in different timelines if you remember we talked we talked we cleared up the timelines in the yeah. one episode. It was what series present day. Uh Geralt was just a couple decades, right? Yes. And Yennefer was about a century in the past. Yes, give that's or correct. Take. That's correct. So. No. So, and it, the no, show I, doesn't really explain that much. No, I think it was okay. the other way around. For uh Geralt and for Geralt, Yennefer? Yeah. Was I think, it? I I thought Oh no, were, no, no. When they no, meet, I right. thought she makes a comment about having been like that for right. decades right. already. Right. Yeah. Mm. Jeez, but the, yeah, that that the big stumbling block for the first season is just that it's not totally clear that it's happening on three different timelines. 
Is that something that like they're looking to reveal in matter. later seasons? No, they already or? they already reveal it because all their yeah. timelines eventually like yeah they all come are, together. It's just it's it's a weird way to edit it, but yeah. it, I, in my opinion, it, it was kind of worked for it. Right, it was the kind of the only way you could really do it. And, but mm. it doesn't matter now because it's all it's all the present day now. Okay, like they brought everything up to the present yeah. This day. is all the story of of now Siri losing her home and now being trained to be a witcher. That's like so. That's okay. I guess more like which the start of Witcher three. If yeah. like you know, like if you've played Witcher three, that's more of that start. It, well, I pl- I played the start, and then my wife saw animated butts, and she got so angry we stopped playing. Right. <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> okay. The, wi- <laughs> the wild hunt. There's see. This is we've had this. Dis- we had this. We talked about this in Nashville. We don't know someone's the abuser. We don't know who. Yeah. <laughs> between between Zach and his wife. Yeah. I I don't I don't know. How that's abusive. Did that, My wife it, didn't did like that it, story so make it back to her, by the way, after we got back? Yeah, she started laughing. Okay. No, I was going to say, I was like, well, the bad reveal here on this show. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, was, she was like, ah, it's clearly me. <laughs> I, see, I don't know. I, I don't can't, I can't, I can't <laughs> confirm. It's one of life's great mysteries. <laughs> right. Um, uh, what were we talking about? Witcher. 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 Uh, yes, but we're not going to see like the Wild Hunt, probably. Mm. I don't even know if they. The Wild Hunt was never in the book. Yeah, I don't think they. Every yeah, I think Witcher three DLC. was just entirely uh, CD Projekt Red. Yeah, doing what they and do. And I remember the author of the books not liking it, right? Even though it was the best received game, right? Well, the fourth one's coming eventually. Mm. Well, the fourth one, and that they claim that it will not be about Siri, and it also will <laughs> not be about Geralt. But those are the only two characters that are, people are going to come back for. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Who cares about anyone else? Uh, but speaking of those, two, I want a dandelion game. It's kind of like a fable game. He, is he the bard? Yeah, he's the bard in this. I don't know. I can't remember what his actual name is off the top of my head. I now. don't. He ha- Dandelion's not his actual name, but they call him That's, Dandelion. That was in the one games. of the things that bugged me the most in the first season is that we see him supposedly 10 years later, but he looks no different. Right. Do you think we will get. For your a, clarity, Zach, the first time we meet the bard in season one, uh, he's a young man. Mm hmm. And then the next time we see him, it's 10 years later, but he looks exactly the same. Oh, yeah. That's difficult to keep up with. He didn't even have different clothes on. Yeah, he had the same clothes, too. Uh, So that was part of the problem is what made it so hard to tell, like, mm -hmm. what was going on. How much time was passing. Uh, But do you think we'll get another banger, like, toss a coin to your Witcher from... from, I don't know. Maybe. Good boy Dandelion. Like, that one, if you read up on, like, how that song came to be... I don't know if we will. Like, that song was totally a fluke that it ended up as good as it was. Oh, really? Because they were trying to intentionally make kind of a bad pop song with it. Because he's not supposed to be that good of a bard. Like, right, right. And yeah, the lyrics more are crap. Like, yeah. the lyrics are so bad in that song on purpose. So it's right. pretty much like the Never Stop, Never Stopping album. It has no business being as good as it is, Basically, but somehow yeah. they just That's exactly right, out. Zach. <laughs> that's not good true comparison. because that's... That's the Lonely Island doing what they do best. Yeah, so like yeah, but for a comedy album, there's no reason why pretty much every single song should be great, right? Like usually I, on a comedy album, you get like is, one or two good ones, and the other ones are just kind of like, eh, you know, you made something. My <laughs> favorite is Mona Lisa because that's exactly how I feel about the Mona Lisa. Oh yeah, it's very relatable. So good. Best Looks comedy, like a garbage pail kid. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you excited for season two? I'm very excited. It'll I be book it. one, right? I think so. I know JP's I love, reading through the books. Yeah, I, it's been a very long time since I've like I tried to reread them and I can't because I'm a moron now. So I have start, <laughs> well, I have I have the. Have first. you tried reading the English translations? No, but I uh, have them on. Uh, well, that might explain something. Oh, that's, so that's why they don't look like normal symbols. Yeah, they're written in Polish, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna. I have the first one on audiobook because I'm gonna try in audio- Polish. No, in normal <laughs> English. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try. Wait, hold on. Are you saying audiobook. Polish isn't a normal language? No. You said in normal English. Yeah, normal English. You implied that other languages aren't normal? No, like sometimes you get audio books where the person yeah, you that's can do it in re- normal Polish. Well, no, what the person that's reading the book like acts it out. So oh. like they do like accents and they get into like the different characters. I don't mm. I don't want that. I want super boring, normal, just monotone. I want Jordan Peterson to read all my books. <laughs> okay. That's, <laughs> that's a choice. To me. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to say about The Witcher season two? Uh, it looks like he's got a the new. The monsters sp- look dope. Yeah, the, there's going to be a lot more, and uh, I love that Geralt still is just like has so much hatred and doubt for people that think the world's ending. He's just yeah, like, world's end three times. It's all 
it's all crap. <laughs> it's like <Yeah. laughs> basically how I feel anytime someone tells me the world's open, like about to end. Because you think about it, we all survived Y two K. We did, right? I know you're trying to give me the hat. We the survived uh, 2012. We survived 2012, and now we're. So Which uh, can I say? What? Don't hate that movie. The yeah. movie 2012 by Roland Emmerich. Yeah, we, don't hate it. I just watched it recently with Robin. It's, it's still pretty fun. Like a month ago. I guess it's not a great sort of movie, reason. but it's a fun movie. It's fun. Well, movies mm. don't have to be like the Shawshank Redemption or glorious, like big, yeah. non memorable movies to be good movies. Oh, People yeah. like all expect movies to have like endgame type perfor- proportions when it comes to how we yeah. walked out of endgame. But that's yeah. you can walk out of a movie being like, that was good. And, yeah. be, and be happy. I had you fun saw. watching that, too. right? And then you go buy it on. You buy it later to watch it on a different date, right? And... Like that's what we said about The Witcher. Like The Witcher season one, it's not Pacific Rim's amazing, my big one. but it's mm. good. It's all right. Yeah, yeah Pacific fun, Rim was I had fun good. watching Pacific Rim. That what's that? What's the Brad Pitt movie? The, the animated Brad Pitt movie that you maybe watch? Uh, Matt Damon, but Titan um, A. Oh yeah, Matt Titan Damon. A. Yeah, fun movie. Yeah, not <laughs> amazing. Cool. It was good. Uh. Treasure Planet. Not amazing. Yeah. A great film. That was a good one. Cool good ideas film. behind it. Yeah. All right. You want me to pull out a hat again? Yes. But you already threw one on the ground, so there's only two things yeah, left but that, in there. That was still in like Mandarin or whatever. <laughs> you just reached through the hat. <laughs> you didn't like reach down into it or anything. Hawkeye. Okay. I had to look back behind. There's a, there's a uh, <laughs> Hawkeye's getting his own TV show finally. I feel like this a is Christmas like Christmas show. Yeah. Like is this it a like show a, or a movie? I think it's it's a it's a, I was told it's a Disney Plus show. I think it is a Disney Plus oh, show. Oh wow. Uh, Mini series type thing. Maybe that's changed, but I'm pretty sure it's a Disney Plus show. I'm I'm not actually liking these TV series. I like kind of things where it's like, oh hey, like we're just going to instead of actually creating a movie series, now it's like now I got to have this and I got to have that and I got to move over here and I got to move over there. It's a like Kingdom Hearts 2 all over again. Right. I love how Marvel Still does not trust Hawkeye to carry his own movie, so like, yeah. we'll just give you a TV show. <laughs> He's like, You're just a guy with it, and it's not even him. Yeah. It's not even. It's just titled Hawkeye, but they've showed a dog to bring you in, and then it's about Kate Bishop. It's not even about Hawkeye. Yeah, <laughs> it's just such a cop out for him. I like how they Poor they guy. were starting to set up his daughter as the next Hawkeye, and they said, "Ah, eh, you know what? Nah." Yeah, he literally calls her Hawkeye yeah. <laughs> in Endgame. That's stupid. Funny. Stupid. I feel bad for her. It'll be fun though. I like. I'm a sucker for Christmas stuff. Right. I love I like Christmas. It, well, it is. It is kind of one of those funny things where it's like, if if you have a kid that like shoots a three and hits it, you call him Kobe. So like, for Hawkeye, who is better than Hawkeye at aiming a bow? Kate Bishop. So like, how does she? <laughs> like like who who do you reference She's her Hawker to? She's Hawkeye. Yeah. Hawkeye or Kestrel eye. Which one has her? Kestrel's just a type of hawk. Yeah, but they're tinier ones. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, so she'd be Kestrelai. Nope, she's Kate Bishop because instead of being creative with their hero names, we're just like, we'll just call her Kate Bishop. No one cares about these bow and arrow characters. Yeah. <laughs> bow, and arrow. bow and arrow characters. <laughs> that's, yeah, I think that's it'd be funnier if Hawkeye dis- didn't call that out himself in Age of Ultron. Did he call himself? He Hawkeye? calls himself out of for using a bow and arrow. Don't you when he's talking to Wanda? Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's that's like, right. What am I doing here? Everybody else has superpowers. I'm just running around with a bow. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, that was I, like the best part of the movie, though. One of yeah. the best like, things that they've ever done with it, that he's ever done with that character, though, is go on. Uh, I think it was, was it Jimmy Kimmel or Jimmy Fallon. One of the Jimmies mm-hmm. uh, of late night TV. And he went on the show playing a piano and he played a version of Ed Sheeran's Thinking Out Loud. But it's like talking about how cool Hawkeye is. And it's him <laughs> singing the song. <laughs> She's like, you know, I have powers, too. <laughs> And they're pretty sweet. I'll have to show you guys the but, video. I mean, it's it does, really funny. It, it does great. kind of make sense that they're, you know, moving on to a new Hawkeye because he's uh, expensive to keep, <laughs> and he's fifty, so like he's not getting younger. I think that's why. Like, did you see in the trailer? At one point, he has an ice pack on here, but he has like eight of them tied to yeah. his left arm or his his shooting. He's arm. gonna get beat yeah. up. I just hope he doesn't die so he can go spend his like he can hand off the title and then go be with his family. Since that's kind of his entire character arc, right? Yeah. Well, no, they're gonna kill him off. I they can't. Not with not when they've spent so much time setting up that he just wants to be with his family. He just had a kid. You yeah. can't kill him. I don't also like the fact that this is Kate Bishop. Kate Bishop seems like she's just 
in it to be like a fangirl over him. So she just wants to hang out with him because she's like a huge fan of him. Like, isn't that I his daughter know. though? Kate Bishop? Yeah. No. no. I thought I thought that was his daughter. That's who he was teaching to shoot. She's too no. young. In... No. Kate Bishop's not his daughter. His daughter got snapped, so she's too young at this point still. Well, it's not even that. It's just Kate Bishop in the comics was, is not he his daughter. He should have trained Ant-Man's daughter. No, that's... She's she's getting trained for something else. Oh. She's going to be... Because there's... <laughs> everyone's, why, everyone's a superhero these yeah, days. Yeah, because Kate Bishop's in this because they're setting up the Young Avengers. That's oh. Because, like, if that's why Wanda's kids were in WandaVision. Is so they... Because they're going to be the Young Avengers. That's why when we heard them at the end of the end of the in like the post credit scene of that show, we're like, yeah, it's clear that Wanda's going to bring them back because of, that's the Young Avengers. They're the first yeah. star of the Young Avengers. We're probably going to get uh, young. We got young Loki to be. He's going to be oh, one of the Young yeah. Avengers. We got Kate Bishop. Like, we've already got a f- team of four right there. <laughs> like. Ugh. That's that's the most Marvel has Marvel That's a done very too predictable much. move. Oh, and what's the the, yes. the little kid from uh the Eternals? What's her name? Oh, I have no idea. Whatever her name what is. What about young man from Iron Man Three? Can oh, he he's part- gonna be in it too, probably. Yeah. That's the that's the thing, is like all of the young Avengers anyone that you've ever seen as a kid that was that directly talked to Spider Man. One of the main characters. Even Spider Man. What about that kid from Iron Man Two? Yeah, that's that's who's gonna be it. No, Iron Man three, not Iron Man two. Yeah, no. No, the, I don't know who you're talking. The kid about. from Iron Man two. Who's the kid? From the Iron one Man? who holds his, who has the Iron Man mask and that's, holds his that's hand. That's Peter. Yeah. That's a rumor. No, that's true. They, is it? Could, no, is that's yeah, confirmed. I, th- I, th- I thought they confirmed that. Yeah, they confirmed that. that's that's But Peter is it gonna be Peter as Spider Man or Peter as that young kid with the, no, hel- with the no, Iron Man it's helmet gonna, on? It's no. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna have P- Peter's going away. He's. He, well, Spider- both of Hawkeye's is, kids. This Spider-Man three. They claim that Spider-Man three, the No Way Home, is going. Iron to Man's daughter be the end game for Spider-Man. Uh, so yeah, I don't know why. I was very certain she's going to be in the Young Avengers, but they See, also completely cut out who she's supposed to grow up into. Um, I don't remember that. The Thirteen Reasons Why actress, the woman who. Man, Thirteen Reasons Why. Yeah. <laughs> Well, he, I'm trying. I'm just going through my head and thinking of all the children that have appeared in any of the Marvel movies. See, I would like. What about to, all the kids in Sokovia? No, no. <laughs> are any of them in the Young Avengers? No, they're underground. <laughs> no, they're not. They got rescued by the helicarrier. Mm, they're dead. <laughs> Too late. Or just unrelated reasons, right? <laughs> Brian's like, don't worry. Once they were on the helicarrier, they didn't last too much longer. We're running out of. I'm running out of files on the on the Young Avengers to go through here. So, well, I I would like Marvel to. Stop. Keep some of these characters in. You, this this is true too. Like <laughs> like I I think I think they've kind of gotten to the point where like I mean honestly I think I've said this before. I think Spider Man is going to be their last good one, and Doctor maybe Strange. and maybe Doctor Strange. Yeah, but other than that, I don't think they've got anything else to run with. Like there's just nothing good. Like Natalie Portman is not going to be good as Thor. Uh, actually, one of my students we got we got talking yeah, today, is. and she was like, I would have loved to seen Valkyrie be. To, to take up that the hammer, really cool. which would have been good. They already set her up as is willing to. She she's set up as a character that would be capable of doing it. Natalie yeah, Portman hasn't a, been in the last a, two a, movies for new, Thor, and she hasn't been anywhere else in the series. Yeah, there's a reason. She's dying of cancer. That'd be cool if they had established that. That's what. That's well. Yeah, they're going to show you why she's not been in there. It's but then they're gonna have her come back and. Yes, before? because like it just doesn't make any sense. Yes, it does. It, see, this is the problem when you don't know what the comic of why she becomes lady. We shouldn't Thor. need the but comics. Not, yeah, but yeah, that's, that's exactly where I'm to, at. But it's going to show you why. So in the comic books, why Jane becomes Lady Thor is also she's dying of cancer, but she's healed by the powers of Milnor because uh, Thor Milnir, Milnir Th- Thor <laughs> Jonathan feeling responsible for her death, even though she says. No, I, I, I'm a scientist. I work with dangerous things. Of course I got cancer. <laughs> She's like, it's not your fault. He's like, yeah, but I want to save you. So he gives her the ability to become Thor, which ends up saving her. But now she has to deal with responsibility. She's also Lady Thor. Yeah, but in this MCU, she has not been established as... There could be more than one Thor. ...capable of doing it. Like... Yeah, but we also so Marvel we need, didn't so establish the that there's a frog we Thor, but get, there's a frog Thor in the MCU. We need now. to get uh, 
That's a that's a care. So a Jane Foster character. will be Thor. We need to get Valkyrie to be Thor, and then I I personally desperately desperately need Beta Ray Bill. Though that's definitely happening to be another Thor. That's definitely going to happen. We've There's, already had him teased. Yeah, so like give me ba- give me Beta Ray Bill. We also like. There's that old man. There's that old man Loki that was from the Loki series. Like we set him up. He's never showed up before, but they set him up in one episode, and he becomes a very r- r- like known and popular character. I get what the argument Zach, is, uh, but I this, think you're, what it, you're trying to people, say. You, everyone else I, can Google it, but this is Beta Ray Bill. He's like a cool dinosaur looking. He's like thing. a dinosaur horse looking awesome. man. Yeah. But yeah, that's gonna happen. There's gonna be just like the Avengers of Thor, <laughs> Thors though. Yeah, it's all the Thor Avengers. Make Peter what's, Quill. Make Peter Quill a Thor. Why not? What's the? What's the? <laughs> there's there's a thing where Frog Thor's in. And I think they're called the Revengers. There's just in all the, sorts of these in the comics, aren't there? Thing. Yeah, because the Young Avengers, the Revengers, the the right. de- Defenders, the whatever injury you can add, right. What are they? The Dark Avengers. Do those exist? The Dark Avengers. The of Ill- course they do. The Illuminati, which was all of the. Speaking it, of Marvel stuff. Yeah. Early stuff's in for Eternals. Yeah. Dookie. Yeah. It's absolute Duke. But and that's the thing is this going to supposedly? Be, but that's the thing is this like the thing where critic review, critic review versus like audience review. Mm-hmm. I well, that just know. happened with Shang Chi because they thought Shang Chi was going to be Marvel's first flop, and then it like every everyone that I have spoken to loves it. Well, yeah, that's everyone that's been saying it was going to flop. Though, if you pay attention, it's all the anti SJW YouTubers. That's the thing. It's interesting. If you watch, did you see what's going on with? Uh, not to like uh, obvious event. We don't know about Eternals yet, so we can tell you in the future if it's good or not. But mm. right now, it looks bad. Mm. But. Well, to bring on with your point, did you see what's going on with Masters of the Universe? So part one. Oh, my God. So Masters of the Universe ends, Mm -hmm. right? Part one ends with basically there's no like there's no He-Man. I think we even brought it up. I think I brought it up, too. It's like the there there's basically like it looks like there's going to be a female um, He-Man. Yeah. So like. And I think we said I I think we said like this is the end of part one. We do the trailer for. uh... Revelation Part Two came yeah. out two days ago. I didn't watch that yet. Oh well, part well I did. So Part Two comes shows like it shows He Man's back. So everyone was all up up in arms like you know you lie like uh what's uh what's his name who showrunner who everyone called a liar um Kevin Smith Kevin Smith everyone was calling him a liar said you lied to us you. You tricked us. You, I think they you, completely shot themselves in the foot fell, by doing it in two parts. You fell into falling SJW stuff, or you fell into trying to help mm-hmm. the left, or whatever. All that stuff, and all, and it, it was the typical YouTubers. I'm not going to ne- mention their names. But they're all SJ, <laughs> but they are literally anytime uh, something comes out, anything that looks like it even is going to show diversity into it, they do go. They go so hard. About how it's like, mm-hmm. you're just, you don't actually care. You're just throwing up. Like, Eternals is a big one because there's a very diverse cast. It's not just all white dudes. Mm. So, but, so like, there's a very But don't worry. The main guy in the front is white. Is right, white dude, r- so. right, 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 right. <laughs> we're we're right. not going too hard into <laughs> the this. The Superman of it in the trailer yeah. is the white guy. But, uh, but they, it, it's a very, and obviously it's going to be a diverse cast because it makes more sense for all these Eternals to just not be straight brown brown haired white dudes that all just hang out in the United States. No, they're all from going to be different countries. Yeah, they're all from different countries. They're, all, different they're, all rolling around they're looking, supposed to protect the world. They're rolling around looking at Hans Gruber's crew. Not just America. So what so what so they were like, "Well, you're just you're just trying you're just falling under these the the, the left shells. You're just falling in. You're just trying to make money and, and take advantage of these people's for diversity sake and all that." Or you know some like really bad arguments on that, mm. and that's what they did with he with He Man. They were like, "Oh yeah, you just killed He Man instantly." You said He Man was going to be the character, but I guess it's not going to be the character. Well, first of all, it's not called He Man, and and the yeah. Masters of the Universe. It's called the Masters of the Universe, right? Yeah. Uh, also, looks like you shot yourself in the foot because now we got part two. Oh, looks like Kevin didn't lie. He Man's in the in the show. He comes back. 
and it looks like he's going to be the main hero <laughs> and he's going to save the day. Looks like you were wrong again. But <laughs> the moment that you confront these people, they cu- they go into this the weird defense mode where they just say, nah, I wasn't wrong. You're just, you're the ones being tricked. I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> it's like literally watching someone so, kill somebody. So it, these part ones and part twos, is it like an hour long special and now the second episode is coming out or is it like a movie and then no, a part so, two movie? No, so it's like... I think the first one, I think part one's There's only like six episodes. Yeah, so six episodes, and then the oh, part, so part part one is like season one, sorta in a in a case, but it really just tells okay. like the first part of a series, and then the it ends on a cliffhanger, mm-hmm. and that makes sense because it's to get you more interested. You're like, what's gonna happen next? Like, oh man, we have no He Man, and the, the Skeletor's got the power of the Gray Skull or whatever, <laughs> and he's <laughs> he's got all the power, <laughs> and, you know. So like. And the, I think in the end, if I remember correctly, the end, the sword like is cut in half mm-hmm. and then it's, or no, it's cut in half and then it's put back together, but Skeletor puts it back together. I don't know. It's a very weird series. If you think he has a very oh. crazy series. Uh, I finally got around to watching Squid Game. I'm not going to. Pretty good. It's actually pretty good. I don't have, I don't have the time. And then I, uh, so I, and I was reading stuff about it and I kept seeing people bring up this show, Alice in Borderland. Borderland? <laughs> No, I mean, Alice, I was, I was like, Alice in Borderland. <laughs> that's where I went to, and it was well, it's another Netflix show, but it takes place in Japan, where these kids like are uh, they find themselves in like a, an alternate version of Tokyo, where it's almost completely empty, mm-hmm. and they have to play like these sadistic games. But it's less like Squid Game, where you're kind of like Squid Game is like you're fighting to win effectively, mm-hmm. whereas in this one, it's you're literally just fighting to not die. Oh wow. And it's pretty. I, I liked it more than Squid Game, I think. Mm-hmm. But both of them, great shows. Highly recommend. <clears throat> Go check huh. them out. Yeah, I was gonna say from from what I've seen of Squid Game, it seems like voluntary Hunger Games. With well, it's more than it's deeper than that. Well, yeah, well, and that's kind of what I was like. It, it looks interesting enough for me to like watch it, but it I haven't gotten around to it. it. Did you watch it with like subtitles? Or yeah. Did they have like a dub? Because I know they they st- have a dub. But it, I figured it'd be better to watch it with subtitles. Okay. Yeah, it is. And make sure it's uh, so the big debates around. Uh, because there's English subtitles and English closed captioning. Make sure you're watching it with English subtitles. Because the closed captioning is based on the uh, dub. I was hoping oh, okay. that the English closed captioning was just like what the sounds make. <laughs> it includes <laughs> those too. Because closed captioning is for if, uh, if you're deaf. If you're deaf, yeah. It. Right. So it includes like important sounds. Buzz. But the English captions don't. They're just. Tri- right. There's some priceless closed captioning ones where it's like laughs in Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. So, sorry about my rant against like. It's okay. I forgive no, you. No, you're good. I, I, but I forgive you. you can, no, yeah. I, 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 in, in you're in your correct. Those guys go overboard because well, like the like there are things that Marvel has done where it's like you're you're just pandering. Right. But sometimes it, that's not I, the only thing. Sometimes I agree does. with them. Yeah. It's just they take it to the extent that there's no such thing as a good film anymore. Like yeah. if they wanted to, and I I bet if I look it up, it wouldn't take long. I bet you could find out a time when they said Endgame was going to be a trash film because of some <laughs> kind of like political. It's oh my god! Oh, I can't believe I forgot to add it to the show notes. Cowboy Bebop got its trailer, and it looks oh, awesome. I didn't watch that. Does I don't, it? Why I'm thinking of that is because SJW people were all attacking that again. <laughs> like, we're attacking anti SJWs. We're attacking that. Why but, don't they get upset about uh, these Japan these uh, Japanese and Korean? Uh, shows not having any because be- black people in them because that's not in the echo chamber and it also is not doesn't get them squid clicks. game squid game not a single black person two indians that's your diversity everyone else in it's korean All right well that's well no good. there's uh there's a couple white people well, if, if you're making fair. a film in korea there's not a lot of immigration to korea one of them called babyface i think his name's babyface ah, i mentioned one i said i wasn't going to name anyone but he did he <laughs> did mention the fact that like on the poster of force awakens like the the chinese poster for oh force yeah the chinese awakens, poster like finn's not on there Finn, yeah Finn, if he's yeah. on there he's like he's, anything he was tiny, on, yeah. he's like super tiny yeah, they did mention that. So uh, again, there's sometimes they're right, but then yeah. most of the time they just well, yeah, go it, and it's to like, the extreme. Yeah, and, and it's also the frustrating oh part is two things can be true at once. Like in in Endgame, there was a really really awkward scene where they set up like all the females, but like none of them were in position to do that. It wasn't like everyone respectively was like, "Hey, I need you to do something to help," and they're like, "Oh, okay, I'll go over here." Then they all ended up in the same place. It was like everyone was scattered up along the battlefield, and then all of a sudden all the women were together, and it was like, "What?" 
and it, it just didn't fit. And like it you could have done but, it nice, yeah, it but you fit, could tell that that was a pandering moment. You, but, but that it was the pa- only pandering the, moment in the movie. But you definitely want to give little like it gives little girls who are watching the film like those yeah. are characters that they live up to, and they don't see them do things together. So now they get like the thing is sometimes you have to pander to make sure everyone in the audience feels included in the film. And that's oh not I agree always, that's not always a bad thing. No, my but, my critique what, of it was that you could have set it up so it made sense, right? Because it didn't make any sense because everyone was scattered all over the place. Then all of a sudden they were together. Then all of a sudden they were gone again. It's like right. you, you could have set it, it up, it. I get and it. that was the only time where I looked at it and went, "Okay, that was clearly a pandering moment. It wasn't good storytelling." Right. Speaking of, but movies, they sell off it like that. You, event you guys have ruins heard of, the whole. Thing. Yeah, you, know, you, you guys have not. heard of the the. You guys have heard of movies, right? Yeah, Cowboy Bebop's coming out. We should all watch Cowboy Bebop, <laughs> the, this live yeah. action. It's you, coming out it, in like a couple weeks. We should watch it. I'm Ryan's sorry, you need to watch Dune because Cowboy Bebop is one of the best anime. Like I, if, I think. You guys should watch it because I think you would love it. I steadfastly and refuse the, until you watch Dune. And the show, <laughs> and the and this show looks like it's going to be really good, like it, very close to the anime. It's going to, like they actually cared. So if Netflix does a good job, I'll be proud of them. I'm I'm very interested. I like. So it. Mm. I didn't know this. Denny Dune, Villeneuve. Yeah, I will watch Dune. Denny Villeneuve. Yeah. Guess what his lowest rated film is on Rotten Tomatoes. Imagine. What a two. I know nothing about this guy. So. He made Blade Runner 2049 and Arrival. Oh. Dune director. I do, okay, I do know this guy. Can you guess what his lowest rated Rotten Tomatoes is? Of 2049. Movies? No, like what the percentage is on Rotten Tomatoes. No, five. Uh, 60. Six. 70. 71%. Ooh. Which is that's pretty good, actually. Which is still pretty good. Is like, that audience score? Or both. Uh, I assume it's both. It's combined. combined. Uh, that was Enemy in 2013, but then his highest rated is Arrival with 94. Arrival mm-hmm. is an absolutely phenomenal movie. It's so good if you haven't watched it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but somewhere in the middle at 83% is Dune. What a good movie! Oh my god. Really? Yeah, it what, is. So, is it? so this is the thing where I said you should have. Like JP, and your dad replaced they loved, us. They loved it. I want to hear what they. I want to hear mm. their opinions. I don't care about our opinions. <laughs> uh, I don't care. Not that I don't care about your opinion. It's just wow. you said you've never read the books. I haven't, but that didn't stop me from enjoying. Them. Right, but and, but I know, and I know about the universe. Like I know the details and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like I know generally what the spice is, where it comes from, and what it's used for, all that stuff. Right, but what I'm the only thing I'm saying is that your dad and JP both have pictured this in their <laughs> mind when they read it. So I want to see like according how to their my pictures... dad, the only thing that wasn't like he pictured it from reading the books mm-hmm. was the um, orthonocopters, which in the trailer they're the um, they're the little ships that have the, like the dragonfly wings. Right. He says he didn't quite picture them like that, but that otherwise, but they're still pretty cool. Huh. Uh, otherwise, it all was almost as if they pulled it out of his mind. If you were to give it a pronunciations script. were different too. Oh, okay. like the villains are the uh, Harkonnens. He and I and JP have always pronounced it Harkonnens. Oh, okay. So oh, it's yeah. just a little bit uh, just pronunciation stuff. So, but they pronounce like Benny Jesuit when you do books the same way that we all that all three of us have. Does it fit your top five films you've ever seen in your life? I don't know about that. Like, it's a really good movie. Right. Um, And it's very faith. It's the most faithful adaptation we've seen. Uh, I disagree with what the critics said before, which is that it just kind of randomly ends. It doesn't. Like, it is a pretty natural endpoint of, like, where... Of what the story of this movie, like, this self-contained movie, Mm -hmm. it's it's a good endpoint for it because it does satisfy his arc through this first half, and it leaves it a good spot for the next movie. Okay. Well, so do, do you I, think the next movie is going to pick up immediately, yes, or it, it, it or is it going to be like it, it, it a will, couple weeks later? No, it will pick up immediately. I'm assuming okay, they've that, confirmed that the second one, right? Hmm? Have they confirmed the second one yet? Yeah, they, uh, they the did? day it came out. Okay, they greenlit the sequel. Okay, uh, cool. they already even gave it a release date, October twentieth, twenty twenty three. Cool. Wow. Hmm. Really? Yeah. I, I, I wonder if they just decided they were just going to since they knew they were going to be doing it. If they were like, I mean, why the don't we just keep going? Part one. Like, yeah, the balls on this guy. <laughs> to, before they even greenlit a sequel, say part one. This movie needs a sequel. The way it ends, well, there is no th- like this movie does not have an ending where it can stand by itself. I can tell you, I know okay. why they said that though. Why why they waited to the last minute is because they not I I think there was obviously there was always going to be a part two. 
Yeah. They were all, they mm-hmm. probably had it actually greenlit. It's just they were like, let's keep it'll keep everybody wondering. Maybe. Is there gonna be a second one? Like yeah. it's um, it's all marketing. And I do if you if nonsense. you aren't too familiar with it, like I can see how you would see this as boring. But on the other hand, I'd say, have you watched any of Denny Villeneuve's movies? Like they're not quick action movies. Right. Like they are very slow and methodical movies. Mm-hmm. And this one is very much the same. Do you the, think the set pieces are mind blowing? Would like, Scorsese call this a film? Yeah. Cool. I'd say so. I it has you, the okay. biggest uh of I I, I like the one comment that I saw where someone said uh that it has the biggest room size to furniture amount ratio. Because you'll have this absolutely massive room and three pieces of furniture right in the middle of it. And so <laughs> the scale of the movie is insane. Like just like ships and buildings. I'm assuming most of this was on a green screen, right? Like they filmed the no, most of this in a... I don't think a lot of it was. Oh, that's good. I think that was one of the a things. A lot of that... it was practical. The the st- So they're called still suits, uh-huh. which are like these rubber suits that the Fremen wear, Fremen being the native. Apparently they're very humans. uncomfortable from what I've heard. Well, in, <laughs> in, in lore, they're very co- like they're very comfortable. They, they recycle all of your water. Like 99% of the water that you sweat out and... Other things, excrement, is, yeah, yeah, is recycled. Mm-hmm. So it's very, uh, it's it helps a bunch in the desert. But is, in real life, wearing a rubber suit is that what the nose thing is? And even your exhalations and stuff, it gathers oh, that, all that water. That, so those nose things, that's normal. That's not like a spice thing. Yeah, no, that's for the suit. Okay. Mm. The pro- so the problem is that they have those and they have the masks for the suits, but they almost never wear them. Right. And it makes sense because it's kind of hard to tell who's who when they all have masks on. Yeah. Like so. In Will you real, censor in the, something out if I if, if I ask you to? I, I want guess. you to reveal something to me. Was everybody right? Does the trailer reveal somebody's death? Do you remember the discussion we had? Yeah, it does. Okay, so that okay. Yeah, good. But, All right, I was just wondering. It does. Uh, I was gonna start saying that being it, said, but I was like, well, uh, almost never mind. the entire. Other than that, almost the entire trailer is the first like thirty minutes of the movie. Really? How long is the movie? Yeah, two and a half hours. Wow, it's two and a half uh, hours. Remind- There's a lot that Wait, is not okay. revealed in that trailer. I, okay, remind that me. That being said, if you've read the book, you know exactly, like, beat for beat, this is the same story. Right. Remind me, like, when the the cameras are off, that we can... I, I want to ask you about a certain character. It's... I, I, I The answer's going to not... It, you're not going to... Like, the answer's going to confuse you more than anything. I don't think you know what question I'm going to I ask. do now. Uh, so, mm. uh, one final thing, because we are getting close to time here. Lightyear. Thoughts on that? I am absolutely hyped as bleep for this. Oh yeah, I'm yeah. so excited. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, it is. It is. Kind of, they're doing like their own standalone thing, which I think is kind of neat. Where it's going to be like, okay, there, there's a character from another movie that we thought it would be cool to think, okay, what if that world actually existed? And then they went and made it. You'll. I don't think. Well, I don't. No, know. this is the movie that Andy would have watched. Yeah, that's what this is. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the thing. That's what. Buzz Lightyear. Uh, so yeah, it's Buzz Lightyear, but if it's played straight, like right. Yeah. That's uh, what I thought. So the coolest part about it is that, and it's confirmed by like the whiteboard in the trailer. Mm-hmm. There's time dilation involved. Like it's going to be him traveling partially through time, like him moving fast enough that time travels slower for him. Yeah, and him probably ending up in like the future and stuff. Yeah, I mean Lightyear. So yeah, well that's so that's why I like Buzz Lightyear Star Command. That was supposed to be the show that. Andy watched, which made him buy the yeah. things. That's, That's why Buzz. Yeah. I, you're never go- like this film looks okay. Well, oh, I'm so excited. It looks pretty good. I just you're never gonna replace. It's Buzz Disney Light. Pixar. No. It's sci-fi. You're never gonna replace Buzz Light Star. Buzz Light. Oh, the suit I, looks I don't, so I don't, cool. I don't think it's gonna be great, but it is gonna be one of those things where you look at it and go, "Oh, that's a pretty neat thing that right. they made." I, right. Yeah. I'm, it's gonna, I'm it's gonna be one of those out. movies. I'm right. hyped out of my mind for it. Looks pretty cool. I'm gonna take I'm, my nephews to go see it. Yeah, I mean, I love I'm, how they made his costume actually look like a power a, a suit of power armor or something. Right. Yeah, it's like an actual space suit. Yeah, it looks dope. I'm I'm ready. Do you do you guys want to take my nephews as well? Sure. And we could be the the awkward three dad team. Sure, that works. I call the left hand, like holding your left hand, holding the left hand. Yeah. What? I'm not getting into this. <laughs> so is there anything else you guys want to cover before we have to end the show and say goodbye to all of our please listeners? Please watch Cowboy Bebop. The ch- please watch Dune on HBO. Yeah, definitely Max. watch Dune. Please watch So wait. Lamp. Watch Lamp. Did you <laughs> So you guys didn't go to th- the theater to see it? No. 
We ended up watching it on HBO. It just we the timing didn't work out. Right. We mm. not, we just didn't have time to go to a theater. So I'm on the fence. Do I want to watch it in, in a movie? From what I'm hearing, IMAX is the way to go. Well, I that's the only way I watch movies in theaters now. If you go to see it in IMAX, let me know. I'll try to make it work because I do want to try to see it in IMAX. Okay. What's the difference between just going to your regular theater and watching it and watching it in IMAX? IMAX I, is like you're really there. IMAX is what you know. When we go see movies, mm-hmm. we see it. Like when you go with me and Matt, we mm-hmm. always see it in IMAX. That's why I always buy the tickets. So I make sure we get into the, those like recliner seats and stuff. Yeah, at, like those the, aren't IMAX. IMAX is the big, huge screen that like partially goes over your head. Oh, I'm not gonna do that. That then. Yeah, that I was. I'm I was never confused. gonna leave the theater that I currently go to. I'm never gonna leave those recliner seats. I'm never gonna <laughs> like. Cinemark that XD the, is is way to go. That that, that was <laughs> probably the best thing they've ever done for theaters. Yeah, this is, is an like IMAX give yourself a comfy seat. The screen's absolutely massive. Is there any IMAXs around us? Look it up. Waterfront. Really? Yeah. Oh, I don't want to go there. <laughs> yeah, the waterfront's the closest IMAX to us. I, I remember going to the Carnegie Science Center. And oh, watched, Carnegie Science Center has one, too. I yeah. was going to say, I remember there's... like I felt like you were almost going like straight up to get into a seat. Yeah. Like, it wasn't like you were going back. You were going, like, up. Yeah, you are. Like, that's that's a lot of IMAX screens, yeah. Yeah, I, I never liked that. Wow. I thought... Because they're just absolutely massive I screens. I that was the point of city that Cinemark... XD thing because they have like oh wait no they have a better projector they have a, pro- a special projector a cleaner projector yeah and I don't Cinemark know Cinemark XD is a different thing than IMAX right what what is the difference though I don't know every film I've seen <laughs> Cinemark <laughs> looks so good <laughs> XD looks uh, better than anything did they did they go digital Cinemark yeah rather than doing the old reels probably everything's been di- it's been yeah. digital for decades now. There hasn't been a proje- an actual projectionist for for decades. Maybe at a tiny place. I was gonna say I, re- I remember we saw, we saw a good example of what happens when the yeah when uh, the well, digital doesn't I, work. I, I was gonna say I just, went, uh, the movies are just on hard hard drives. Yeah, I, I was gonna say when I was growing up, I remember going to see a movie, and I actually it was the Jimmy Neutron movie. Oh, yeah, good that choice. was and yeah, was on, it was when yeah. they were on the moon. It totally like crapped out and then came back and they said that the reel was busted. So I don't know, maybe if they maybe it got is. it on a reel or then again, it could just be someone who didn't know what they were talking about. I just well, remember I think, that from being a nah, kid. I remember them saying it was on a reel. No, that's more likely. That's likely because you came a lot of like we smaller, were small town. Yeah, like yeah. small town theaters still use reel. Like, yeah. Well, they used, I don't know if they still do, but they use, it took, a, I don't think, I think when I graduated high school is when uh, the theater, the theater in my hometown in Huntington, mm-hmm. like actually got a digital i wonder if that place is still standing i went on a ghost hunt there once <laughs> yeah but, yeah i stayed overnight in that oh, theater that's that was cool i was, cool. I was, I was sorry say, i didn't realize that uh my little theater in weirton uh the the plaza theater that's mm-hmm. there in weirton uh it was the first movie theater for like miles people used to drive from like cleveland to come watch a movie wow wow because that's... and that was like when it first came in it, it they someone put one there, and that's why like people would come for a while until they cool. made some more. What did so. you say the theater was called? It's the the Plaza. The Plaza. Mine it was, was called the Clifton it was Five. Destroyed up until about probably five years ago, and then somebody bought it, and like over like a two year period, they renovated the whole thing, and then then reopened. Washington it. just lo- we just lost our theater down there thanks to the COVID stuff. Mm-hmm. We're the closest one to us is in Bridgeville, but we always go to the Cinemark in Robinson because it's All a much right. nicer theater. I yeah. didn't know there was one in Bridgeville. Yeah. But okay. All right. Well, thank you all for listening. Uh, po- uh, social media, pop culture unboxing. You, you'll find us. We're around. Uh, you can find me at Matt Ross VO on Twitter. That's pretty, about, about it. Mm. Uh, find me red steak, Ryan. No, wait, re- no, nope. uh, whatever. You'll find me somewhere. It's in the show. notes. It's go in the show it. notes. Yeah. You can Do find some me work. at, at little underscore leaf. L I E F. Make sure that underscore is there. I'm not a middle aged Brazilian woman. He's not. I can't confirm that. You say can't? I can. can. Oh, I guess I can't. Like, <laughs> you could have had really expensive surgery and like voice coaching and stuff like that. Like, I could identify. You could do, just do that. Okay, time out. to end it now. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Bye. I love you. Bye. Have fun. Bye.